Hello, everybody. Um, I thought for a nice change, let's go to the vanilla server. Now, a lot of you probably think mm, he never goes there anymore, but in actual fact, oh, hello. I've been here quite a lot. Go die. Um, I just haven't put any videos of it. Are you you are loading just very slowly. Okay. I think this we shall take down and put back up again. Where are you? What the hell is going on here? It's going to be central all of a sudden. Yes, that's been updated. That's good. I suppose they all update automatically now, don't they? Or do they? Let's just grab this. So, what I am going to do today is... Do, 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 do. There you go. I know I've got 64 of them, but... 65 now. I've got a shitload more back at the other thing as well, but... Lovely. Ooh, big circle. Um, as there's probably a few people that are relatively new to me. Oh, that's what happens. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a server tour. Server tour. Now, if you are an old, old follower viewer um yeah, we'll, we'll see a few things you haven't seen before i think but a lot of it is going to be fairly sorry i'm just sorting out my crap while i'm doing this um and i really should organize my chest a little better i don't know where stuff's going actually um drops the string is drops that's where the spider crap goes uh, i've been doing a lot of derping about oh, i lost oh, that's my super bow you up. Normal axe, super axe. Super axe we can put up there because we're not going to need you. Um, blah, blah, blah. Bone meal is going to go in the thing. We're just clearing up all this crap. You've got to be, you know, you've got to stick with your system. If you turn around and say, well, you know what, let's just bung all this in a chest for now and we'll deal with it later, then you end up with chests full of crap. Do they? Um, so we we'll just sort this out, and as I say, we'll go and have a look. Um, I'm sure some people don't like me going. Oh, let's turn this a video. And you're just looking at chess. So that's and bombing. And well, there you go. Nothing will make you guys happy. So give a shit. Right, that'll do. Okay. So. For those of you who are new and don't know what's going on here, this is where we are, right here. Um, I started building quite a large project. As you, what is going on around here? Um, yes. So this is like a large-scale map. I think somebody broke one here there should be one here oh no I broke it and it disappeared I lost it I don't know where it went ah basically yes we're with this little green dot here as you know uh, this is the donator hall that I've been working on long and hard now we'll come on to that in a minute but then this is the swamp out here uh, and this big circular gray thing here Oh, look at the picture frame flipping in and out. Boop, boop, boop. There's a big project I was going to start doing, and then there's all been discussions about whether we should, you know, change the map and stuff. This is my power station. It's majestic. Majestic. Um, I was thinking about redoing these so that they're three by threes. So there's a single hole in the middle that we could possibly use hoppers in to, to fill these guys up oh, more spots spots but we've got uh, 
banks and banks. Oh, I should clear that crap out, really. Look at that. Uh, of furnaces. They're there just to... Look at those levels going up. Cook up bricks, mainly. Bricks and food. Bricks and food. Uh, and stone. And then extra stuff here. Clock on the wall. You can see a chimney going up there, and then up here is a little secret attic with a fucking zombie in it and water point. Oh, fucking oh, you are pissing me. Die! Um, ooh. He's left me a really shitty bow. No, no. Oh, disco has Disco run! Oh my god, yep. Piece of crap. Um, yes, and we are obviously in the spawn village. Not spawn village. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, ravine village. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a second. Again, for those of you that I may be new to this. Uh, so we're going back down here, back to the power station, and let's go downstairs. Back to the storage area. Check if there's anything in there. No, we do not. Put these bricks away so we don't lose them if we should die, which is always a possibility. So, uh, before we go to the village itself, uh, we've got a little sort of back alley here. These are the outer walls of the big circular thing I was making. Uh, here we've got a little house. These houses are, you know, uh, there's not a great deal going on in them, to be honest with you. They're just there to fill up the village, make it look nice. Got a bridge, new bridge. This is all new stuff for, for regulars. Um, Toik. I took that wall out for some reason. Oh, I know, it was an overhang and I didn't want it. Um, it was stopping this functioning as a door, if I remember rightly. Proper door, villager door. Uh, more houses, more houses. Again, you know, more of the same. Now, it's telling me that I'm hitting 115 frames per second, which is why F3 is up at the moment. But it really feels... I like it's doing about 15. Really laggy, choppy. Um, I've had this a while. I think it's because of the sheer number of entities that are going on. But anyway, we've got another upstairs here. Here's another house. That's a dangerous hole. Who made that? Some idiot. Um, and then this is going to be more houses here. And then we come down here with this bridge. This is a mob farm. Basically, uh, this is some pretty floors. This is a chicken. Go on, chicken, do your stuff and die. Um, so this is a new bridge. This is this is all new stuff. We'll come to that in a minute. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa! Go away. <laughs> Um, and then this is the ravine. Uh, it's just one of the vents. Goes a long way down. A long, long way down. Hey guys! Hey, you see, we got uh, 108 entities there. 110, maybe that. Oh, 100. Ooh, oh, oh my god, 148 over there. Oh, there's loads of cows over there as well. Um, it's a year. Let's go down, shall we? Um, it's built on a sort of large spiral. So you can uh, run down. This here is one of those. Um, what do you call it? 
ender pearl up things. Lots of cows, lots of houses. Some of them don't have doors. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to intrude. Uh, see, that looks pretty dark in there. Oh, we've got lighting on that. I'm like 10. I mean, we should be alright. Seem to get the occasional zombie appearing, and I don't know why. Um, as you can tell, some of them don't have doors because well, this, this doesn't because it's a staircase. This is a central staircase that goes all the way down to ground level, but um, we'll just wander around here. And again, we're trying to sort of get the villagers to, to, to move up. Obviously, I started it. See, that was a zombie. Where, where is he? Where is he? I hear him. Hmm. Started at, at base level and worked my way up, and as more and more zombies, zombies, villagers, cows, uh, moved in, as it were, they sort of have slowly made their way up. Wandering around. Let's go for the cows. Let's go kill some cows. Such fun. Right. Here is my cow field. Yay! We've used these for uh, getting leather for those picture frames. Why do you want picture frames? Good question. We'll talk about that again in a minute. Two! Oh, yes. I like to keep you guys hanging on. Uh, so, yeah, we walk around here and then we got the start of this thing here. Here, which again if you're a regular you'll know what it is but if you're new you will not it's a little lava field I had to cover that up with uh, glass so I wanted to keep it it looks nice it's a bit of light there's a waterfall here of course where that chicken was uh, I'm just I mean I could just drop straight down but I'm going around here so you can see just how large an undertaking this was um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got uh, ungolems wandering around, obviously, doing their thing. Oh, here's a little... we we'll put another couple of houses in there at some point. A nice little view over the, over the waterfall, or through the waterfall, should I say. Is it night time? Why are you not in bed? You should be in your house. Hmm. Uh, yes. So there's been quite a few zombie damage ones. Jesus. Party going on in here and there's a golem inside and that's pretty impressive. So doing well. I still hear a zombie somewhere. That is the problem with this place. If you hear a zombie it's really difficult to find it. What the hell is that? Uh, hmm. This is also a problem. Well, that's the problem inherent with fences as opposed to these guys in particular. So, I've got a couple of priests in the church, which is interesting. This is the church of. Huh? Church of. Huh? Uh, you can come through, and then if you are a good person, you get to talk in the pulpit. Hey! Hey guys! Over here! Bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, yeah. It's a nice, quiet place. You see the quietness? The reverence? The lava falling down the walls? It's nice. It's nice. It's a good place. What are you guys doing? You're here like idiots. Um, and then, yes, we come down here, blah, blah, blah. It gets a bit, bit crazy hectic down here, to be honest with you. And you can see the, the frame choppiness already. Now, down here is... This is the output from the, the mob spawner. I'll fall down there, and then I've got a series of... Uh, water shoots and hoppers and things and I tried I've been trying to get something to pull um, drops up uh, and I've just built Suzuma's um, 
method that he put a video up last week, I think it was. Can't get it to work for shit, X. I don't know what's going on. Um, I might talk to you about that later on, but it just fires them out sideways. It does not fire them upwards. And yes, they are pointing upwards before anybody says something clever. Just spits them out all over the place. So that's not working. But yes, what we are going to do at some point, fairly soon, I think, is to dig this out a little bit and actually have a water flow. Um, I think actually it will come from this way, seeing as this is higher and this is where the waterfall is, so that would make logical sense. Um, we're going to have a flow of water so these guys actually get swept off um, because uh, they tend to congregate in, in the water, as you see, they all want rusty balls. So if we start channeling them, I think we'll get to a point here where we can lava blade them or generally kill them and harvest their organs uh, I say organs I obviously mean iron but that'll be nice and it will get rid of all these people that are just milling around like idiots and hopefully they should all then respawn and that should be quite a good constant spawn constant swarm of stuff however I don't know if they do actually get pushed by water current. I'm assuming they probably should, but uh, we'll have to see. That's something I'll plan anyway. Oh god. It's morning. And here's, the, here's my old storage area. Um, there's some stuff in there. Let's grab. Oh, these are pretty broken. Pretty broken. Uh, hmm. hmm. No. Uh, sorry, I was just checking to see if I've got a thing, a minecart in here, which I don't think I do. So, let's utilise this. Uh, some more enchanted books. Trying to get bloody silk touch, which I've eventually gotten, but uh, that take a while. Wait, right, okay, so not what we want. Uh, let's just dump. No, fuck it. Too many chest noises. Right, cover your ears. Right, through here. And then that, and. Foo! Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go over there. Back into here. Now, if I remember rightly, there is one. There you go, there's one. Let's just quickly drop that. Ooh, we'll leave that. Right. Oh, let's, let's have a quick look at this thing while we were, while we were here. While we are here. There is the wall. There is the wall. It's, actually, let's get the other side of the wall. Into, into the swamp. Swampy bow. Boom! Look at that. Yeah, so this is the first level of, of what's going to be quite a large project, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about it. Plop. So while we're here, this is the donator hall. This is where you get recognised if you donate. Um, and again, we'll talk about more of that shortly. Uh, sometimes, if you're a good donator, either you give me huge, huge swathes of money or 
you know, other support in, in other ways. I'm feeling generous. I might make a little building for you. And this is Blue Bayou's Swamp Shack. There we go. Nice little grey rug. Uh, that's my favourite colour. And a few bits and bobs in there as well. And a chimney. Blowing smoke. He says, no, it's not blowing. There you go. Lovely little chimney. Um, there are some other houses around built for people. We'll pop into those at some point on the way. But let's go. Let's go have a look at this place, shall we? This is an outer wall as well, obviously, which is going to get sorted at some point. But this was going to be big. Okay, I'm just saying big project. Which I might, as I say, I might uh, kick back into life. Uh, feels that was good. When oh crap. When uh, when and if well when we change to the new map. There will be a reset. We don't know when, so don't ask. Because we can't tell. So yeah, we've got a little bridge I've made here, nice little bridge over. Um, which I, I have put a little bit more on that, but this bit is all new. Uh, I spent a lot of time and effort on that. Oops, still missing a little bit up there. Gotcha. Now, I've got one of these stains. Beef had one of these on his castle. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know what it's about. Uh, Dinner Bone, if you're watching, what is this all about? I don't know. I don't know how common it is. Um, see it occasionally. But, you know, you put lights on there and it'll, by the fact, if you fly over to it, it'll go away. But it's like one of those lighting glitches that's just a permanent lighting glitch. So that needs filling in. Anyway, this is you know, not quite finished. We're missing a door for a start, but it's like the grand entrance hall. We come up the stairs. La 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 la. La la la. Got some, some sort of modern chandeliers hanging off. Giving some light out. There's the bridge. There's the thing. And this is our donator hall. Now it goes down, it goes up, and there are names on the walls and levels with names and things. And I'm going to go through these because I spent a lot of time putting everybody's name up. Uh, and we will go through these next probably next episode um, I'm going to do another Q&A um, in the description below I will post the subreddit Q&A thread from the last Q&A's I've done so if anybody is new and wants to add to that they can and I will take any new questions and add them to the list of questions I'm going to do for for the next Q and A, as I say, which will probably be next episode, but this is for special place here for people that are super generous, super generous, and this is a place for super special people. These are people that, yeah, you know, support has been, you know, overwhelming, and are super great dudes. But again, we will give them more loving next episode so I think that's probably it for the ravine village um, it's a crazy place it's not finished by a long shot you know you want to keep adding more buildings making it a bit more lively doing stuff but this mofo has taken such a large amount of my time uh, it's it's quite redonkulous the amount of crap I mean, just look at the brick. That shit needs digging and cooking, my friends. And that is a lot of brick. 
A lot of glass. And a lot of stone, for that matter. Uh, and hell, a lot of diamond. I'm, just, I'm doing alright for diamond still, but it's taking a large toll on it, that's for sure. So, uh, let's go the long way. There's a portal at the bottom of, of the ravine, but there's also one up there, and we might as well go grab that. Oh, am I going to make that? Am I going to make that? Yes, I am. Sweet. Let's have a quick overview. Look at my funny roof there. It's a very difficult roof to do that. Um, and my dome, my dome is sort of fixed now. Again, it's got a little glass dot on the top. So, But, as I say, we'll go through that more detail next episode when we're doing the Q&As and giving the donators at the same time their love that they need. Um, can't quite see, but you can kind of see the size of that wall there. That's a big jobs. Big jobs. Right. Oh, there's a minecart here after all. Let's go take a train ride. Now, this train ride is going to take us about five minutes. So, I'll cut it here and come back when we've got somewhere. Okay, we are back. I've left F3 on for people so they know where stuff is. Um, and you can have a look at the exit coordinates and see... How far we have come? Still nothing in there. Um, this is the farm. The farm. Now, a lot of things here broke when there was a redstone update. Uh, quite a few updates ago. Cats. Freaking cats everywhere around here. Farm cats. Meow. Hello, pretty cats. Um, and I haven't really got around to fixing them. And I should. This is one that I should fix, really, because I think. Now, I think I'm going to do some more vanilla. Um, and this is one thing I'm going to do. This is my logging farm. Um, I think now, with the redstone blocks and other such stuff, I can get this working properly. Uh, I don't even know if this works at all at the moment. Let's give it a go. No, it doesn't look like it does. Oh, well, that's really slow. Why have you gone so slow? Basically, there used to be um, a stack of gravel there and there. And what it would do is push the tree up into the ceiling. Uh, Stacking all the logs, and then it would reset there when it was done and, and reset. And then all those logs would go up there, they get pushed along here, and then they come out down here, and then they all get down here. And when they get to the bottom, that fires, and then they all get pushed across one. And then when they all get pushed across to here, which is 144 logs, this whole wall will push this way towards me. Uh, this dirt shouldn't be here, and well, should these stairs, and it will come along here, and eventually you will get a 12 by 12 by 12 cube. Uh, this stuff here was to send out signals to uh, seven segment displays, which were here, well, the decoder was here, uh, and that would give you... Uh, What's the word? Uh, well, I'll give you a display. Give you a numerical display of what. Oh, let's see if that's. Oh, that was close. And there's no one there in there, you see. Um, what are you doing? Uh, and that will give us a display up here as well. Let's drop. This um, so we can see how many 12 by 12 rows we had fired up. This is where the logs come out, you see. Some smart pistons everywhere and stuff like that. Uh, again, you see there's the other display in there. So that was how that worked. And it did work for a while, but then, as I say, there's a redstone update and it all went peak tong and then I had to dismantle stuff. 
and it broke and we haven't fixed it and likewise with my sheep farm here what i really want is some way of automatically shearing a sheep that would be good so there's a sheep there there'd be a sheep there you push the button no, it doesn't work we'd shear it press the button it would op open the hatches there underneath them uh, these will need to be reset uh, and then they'd drop down new sheep from the floor above. There's grass in all of these so they can all eat grass and re regrow their wool. Um, and they would drop and they would follow a water path down whoops, down here and then hit that and they'd go up to the top. Uh, is there a ladder still here? Yes, there is. La, 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 la. We'll go through this quick. Um, again, I might come back to this. I think the problem with this is I need to rebuild a lot of this and I kind of didn't want to um, but there is now a string there wasn't string before uh, that's how long ago this is so they, they push a pressure pad which would reset the system uh, and then drop in and we were getting these sort of blocks just the sheep block and things like that so it kind of worked and it kind of didn't. It's slightly over complex. But as I say, I need to re basically pretty much strip it all back down and restart that. Which I don't want to do. I don't want to do. But what we do have, if we want large amounts of wool, in this case, orange wool, is the shearer here. So we push to activate it. See, this still does work and we get water flow out these guys all drop down into a hole um, and you see they start coming up here do, do, do. That'll do. then you stand here and you shear 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 is there any shears in here yes there are let's get some orange wool Shear it, shear it, and some of them you catch, some of them drop down into the water flow, like so. And we'll get back up. You can shut a gate here and block them off if you need to. You, you know, getting overwhelmed with the number of sheep. Oh, there you go. Shear, 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 and then you see they all drop out back into the back into the field. Jump. Are you done? That'll do. Sorry. Um, those are them, and then the ones you don't catch come down here, and there we go. That's nearly a stack of orange wool, which is cool. So that's like a big wool gathering machine and over here we've got little individual pods for sheep and again you just stand here and shear them and a bit of a crossover issue at some point so we need to breed a few more in really you just stand here and shear 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 and then when you're done you push the button water flows out Pushes all the wool down the hole here. And we're done. Turn that off. And then, and then, we drop down here. And again, this is another one that would probably benefit from the automatic getting blocks up. You see, it all, it all congregates down here and we'll end up in a pile here, which you can then pick up and take up here. Little storage area where we've got wool. Lovely. That's the farm. It does what it needs to. Meow, sickies. Let's go back. Booply boop, booply boop. Let's go back to our childhood. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, get on this little ride, and I'll catch you in a sec.